setting up the software for the four stacks um, is very easy. So all we have to do is open our four stacks app, which is on the desktop, that orange icon down the bottom here. Then we come across to profiles, search for the athlete that you're testing. So we're gonna search for Billy here. You double click on that athlete's name and it will come up with all their previous tests in there. From there, we go record tests for profile. And the first thing we need to do is zero platform. So we come up to the top right there, click zero platforms. There'll be a little text box appear in the middle of your screen. You can't see that on the screen recording. From there, we go measure weight. So if we get the athlete to stand on the plates and we get a little bar in the middle of the screen here that shows us how measured we are. And when that's approximately 50-50, we press OK. And then depending on the test, we can come up to test type here. So for any jumping test, we can just leave it as auto detect. Uh, and there's a drop down here that you can't see on your screen. But for an isometric mid-thigh pull, we would scroll down and select isometric mid-thigh pull. The same for a shoulder or with the athletic shoulder test. So a shoulder ISO I, shoulder ISO T, and shoulder ISO Y. And any other isometric test, we uh, select uh, general force time analysis, like so. So from there, we go in and we choose whatever type we want and then we go start recording. So as we can see, the plates are now live, and if we put more weight over one side or the other, then we get a, a movement in the curve. So from there, if we go and do some counter movement jumps, the screen will record that. If we hit stop recording, we can see that our three counter movement jumps have been picked up here. If we want to change or we feel as though the uh, software has picked up the wrong test, we can click on that uh, the gray area. We can come down and there'll be a text box in the middle where you can come through and choose whatever jump type you want and what limb you've got there. We press OK. Then we come across to Analyze. And we get our key metrics in here. We get our asymmetry results by clicking the tab at the side. And results table gives us any metrics that are available across each trial. From there, we go save test.